Hello Capricorn, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at what is going on for you in love right now. What do you need to know? Who is coming towards you? And what do you need to know about them? Uh, please keep in mind that every Capricorn reading cannot and will not resonate. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Okay, so I was going to ask and I was thinking it. Um, <laughs> what do you need to know right now regarding love? And I got anxiety. So maybe you're a bit stressed, worried about something, anxious about something. This could also be your person's energy coming through here. Let's see. Sleepless nights, hard time sleeping, vivid dreams. Some of you I'm getting, there's like a storm inside your mind. What a weird way to put that. But that's what I'm getting. Like I'm seeing there is a storm happening outside here in this card. But I'm seeing that like in your mind. Like you just have a lot going on in your mind. A lot that's like keeping you awake. What's the energy here for Capricorn in love, spirit? The energy for Capricorn in love. Lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. So some of you may, might be just concerned, anxious about the future. Others of you, there's probably some anxieties or issues that are happening within a commitment, within a con an existing connection. Um, I'm getting that someone watching this is probably worried about um uh, i'm getting almost like um if we don't end up married it's over kind of energy like you like you need to know if this is going to go somewhere before you invest more time you know it's like if i'm not going to get a commitment out of this like a marriage i don't think that this is going to be what i want to be in you know so let's get some past present future energies out here so we could see What's been happening for you regarding love and relationships? What's happening now and what's around the corner? For Capricorn, what's the past energy here? For Capricorn, past energy please. For Capricorn. Wow, seven of swords. No wonder someone's anxious. What's the present energy for Capricorn in love? Present energy, please, for Capricorn in love. The star, hope, healing, Aquarius energy there. What's the future energy? Future energy for Capricorn in love. What's the future energy? Seven of Cups. Yeah, wondering. Options. What doors will open? Interesting. I feel like I'm speaking to a Capricorn where things have not been good in the past regarding love. Maybe you've been deceived. Maybe you don't trust people. I'm getting like a lot of energy of like people that don't know how to treat you, don't take you seriously, don't give you what you want. Instead of being like steady people, they're just a mess. Like maybe you've been dating a lot of mistakes <laughs> or like things that just, you know, it's like you question why you are dealing with this type of individual. Let's get some more clarity here. Tell me about the seven of swords. Maybe you're, you know, wondering, someone might not have had the best intentions in the past. Tell me about the seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here for you? Wow. Six of wands. So I think that this was kind of a surprise. I think this, when I see the seven of swords with the six of wands, I instantly think of like lipstick on a pig type of energy. Something might have looked really good or had a lot of promise. Success felt like it was guaranteed, but then it's just not. Wow, four of wands and the ace of pentacles. I think promises were made, expectations were set. This is a situation where promises were made, um, offers were made, everything looked good. So why the seven of swords? Why the sneakiness? Why someone avoiding confrontation? Why the, de the deception? 
Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What do we need to know? Yeah, Two of Pentacles. I feel like you started doubting this person. Whoever this is, I think you started to have doubts about their intentions, what was really going to happen with them. This, I feel like for some of you, this could have been somebody that was really good at speaking, using words um, to their benefit here. Especially with the Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. I think this was somebody that would like, maybe was very hot and cold. Maybe they kind of rushed in, made a lot of promises, um, gave you everything you wanted, and then it was short term. It was it was almost like success short term before you, you realize the truth. Yeah, King of Swords, Ace of Swords. I feel like you you caught wind of this. You understood what was happening after some time. I think this is someone with a pattern of behavior. This is turning into a very specific reading, but I almost get the sense that you caught on quick. Like you were like, this is great, but I want to get down to like what really matters here because enough with the BS, honestly. Some of you might have thrown this person out with the five of pen. Yeah, look at this Knight of Pentacles. It's like they would keep constantly coming back in. That's what I'm getting, like someone very persistent. Or someone with like, like at any time that you, that you felt you caught them in a lie or, or any time you felt like you understood this person, they would turn around and kind of like twist things in a bit, in a way. I feel like this was the past though, Gem um, why do I want to say Gemini? Hopefully you weren't dealing with Gemini and Capricorn. <laughs> um, but um, I feel like this is in the past though. I don't think that this is, this is what's happening now because the star is here. In the present so i'm getting like healing self-care renewal yeah balance six of pentacles tell me about the star what do we need to know about this energy with the star oh my gosh i think this is this person coming i really hope they're not trying to come back in here the audacity the gall to be honest tell me about the star Yeah, the audacity, Ace of Pentacles, Death, Scorpio Energy, and the King of Wands. I think you cut this person off and they're going to try again. This person's probably not going to give up. They probably are going to come back with that BS of I've changed. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio is here as well. The world. I think that this ended. I think that you caught wind of this person. This ended and this person is disturbing your peace, Capricorn. Let me know in the comments if someone's disturbing your peace. Because I feel like this is something you, you're kind of like, don't you don't want to think about this anymore. But it's almost like this person is making that impossible. What the heck? I'm getting frustrated here. <laughs> this isn't even my situation. I'm over here like, stop this madness. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the seven of cups here? I think I'm thinking of you like working around this issue, looking for options. Wow, the ten of swords. Tell me about the seven of cups. Eight of swords. See, this is what's you're consumed or overwhelmed mentally by what's happening with the eight of swords, the seven of cups, and then the ten of swords. Because in I feel like a lot of you. This is someone that's constantly coming back into your energy. Like for example, maybe some of you have stopped speaking to this person altogether, right? But energetically, you feel the anxiety. You feel like you can't sleep very well. You can't rest. Um, maybe they find a way to kind of get into your energy without you even realizing it. Like I'm getting that analogy of someone who like you broke up with them, but they're friends, you have mutual friends. And so they're consistently around, you know, it's like that kind of energy. Tell me about the seven of cups. This one. Yeah. And I feel like you just want to focus on yourself, but you can't. Yeah. There's the nine of swords. You want to focus on you, do you focus on your business, on yourself, on being the best version of yourself that you can be, living the single life, and here's someone that's like disturbing your peace. 
like the audacity to be honest like i don't know what their deal is um let's look at their energy not that i want to but what do we need to know about this individual that capricorn is dealing with or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this individual five of swords is that all, telling me all i need to know that's all i need to know is this five of swords I mean, honestly, the unmitigated gall for them to show their face. Like, I am so irritated right now. The Hermit, Virgo energy, there's the Ten of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. This person is going to show up like nothing happened or brush away what happened. This person, I feel like they, you know, and who had this reading just now? I just did a reading where someone i think it was leo i think it was leo if you're dealing with a leo go watch that reading right before this set of readings is coming out because it was somebody that was basically going to apologize but it wasn't going to be a very satisfying apology because you're not getting all of the answers or the closure that you need I feel like this person could even say, I just want to talk. I'm not going to try to get back with you. I just want to for, you know, ask for forgiveness and like really clear the air between us, clear up any misunderstandings so that we could be cool and not have this, you know, antagonistic energy between us. But then when you meet up with them, it's just more BS. That's the energy I'm picking up Capricorn. It's like, they're not really taking this seriously. Um, especially with the five of swords and the hermit, when I see these two energies, I think of someone that has been very withdrawn, um, trying to figure out the best course of action. But then the five of swords tells me that their kind of go-to is to be this type of person. They don't like to lose. They play dirty. They don't play fair. And it's because I think that this person has a big ego or something like that. Maybe they just, they would rather, I don't know. It, there's something about you that like has this person in a chokehold, to be honest. I don't know what it is, Capricorn, but it's almost like, I, I don't, I don't want to say that they enjoy, in, you know, harassing you <laughs> or anything like that. But it's almost like they have such an energetic tie to you that it, it's almost like a comfort tie. You know, it's, it's like, it's like. With Capricorn, I know exactly what I can do, what buttons I can push. You know, Capricorn makes me feel whole. Capricorn is my comfort zone. My, my, you know, it's like, it's like I can be intimate with them in a specific way. Or, you know, it, it's like we have a connection. But what they don't realize is that somewhere down the line, they lost the privilege of access to you. They're not getting that. Some of you might still be talking to this person. Let me know in the comments if that's the case. But I feel like most of you call this off. Tell me more about this Five of Swords and the Hermit. Tell me about the Five of Swords and the Hermit, please. Eight of Cups. Oh, yeah. You walked away from this person, the Chariot. This person, they can't stand that. I, I honestly feel like part of the issue here is that they cannot stand that you were the one that called things off or that you were the one that lost feelings first or something like that. I feel, I feel like also some of you, maybe they didn't take you seriously when you said you were done. And now they're realizing, oh, Capricorn was serious about that. This could be them being anxious, but I also feel like you have a lot going on in your mind because this person just cannot let you rest. What do we need to know about this individual? What are their energies towards Capricorn? I'm afraid. Yeah, afraid of losing you. I think this person did not take you seriously, Capricorn. They thought maybe you were gonna stick around. Maybe they thought you were very loyal. And um, I think that they're really freaking out. I see forever with you. Oh yeah. I see forever with you. What do you mean you don't wanna be with me forever? Um, some of you could be married to this person and I think that's the problem. 
I think if you are married, if there is some sort of like legal binding contract or, you know, you, you or you've been, you're known as the married couple. Maybe this person believes that just because you're married, you're together forever, you know? Um, or perhaps you talked about marriage, you talked about a future together, you might have children together. And so now it's almost like, uh, please, like, what do you mean you're, you're not in this with me? Change. Oh, yeah. I think you've... <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, so I feel for this person to an extent because sometimes people don't learn their lessons until it's too late. I think this is the, exactly what's happening here. I feel like things are changing in your relationship. This person might tell you that they've changed as well, but I think it might be too late. Whichever angle they're using, if they're coming to you as a changed person, and I do believe people can change. I do believe in second chances and all of that, but I also believe in respecting yourself, right? So if you've decided that you're done, I think that you're not really going to care that they've changed at this point. If the dynamic between you has changed, this person is terrified. They are terrified, Capricorn. Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading and um, I hope it was helpful or that it resonated for you. Don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.